Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video Sarah Godin will lead you through how to capture data using your mobile device for DHIS2. Hi, Sarah from Logical Outcomes here. We're looking at testing DHIS2 apps on your computer using Ginny Motion, which is an Android emulator. So I've set up a Nexus 5 phone and I'm going to test the data capture app. So first I started by visiting GitHub and I downloaded a version that I thought would match. Now for data capture, there's no version number on the actual apps, so they all are called leg legacy release. Sorry. So I've got my file, I'm just dragging it onto my phone to install it. This is what's nice about testing on, a, on an Android emulator rather than an actual phone. So when I'm going to get into the app, similar to the dashboard app, you have to put in the H HTTPS. I'm going to test with an admin account that has kind of a super user permission set. So let's see what sort of forms I can get into here. In a previous video on event capture, we walked through some of the common uh, issues. So in this case, I had no forms assigned to user. So I'm going to want to pick a user that has access. Let's try a different one. So this is a data entry test account that I made. Now I should have access to only some Toronto schools. Specifically, I picked the ones that start with the letter A, so that's great. We'll start here. We'll choose our data set and the period. So these are all have been defined when we designed our program in DHS2. We're just testing the actual data capture now. So I'm going to click once on the event box that's created. And there's two questions now. How many textbooks did a student receive? Let's say 15 textbooks. And yes, the school has an improved water source. So now I have a form here that I can click back on and see the information. Now I can press this two to kind of toggle back and forth or I can use the phone back. Now let's say I, I need to do another event, um, another form for April. I can simply click April if I give it a second, so I'll see it's April. Now this is from a previous entry. So what's actually happening is it's saving data in my phone, which is helpful. I'm going to say no at this time they didn't have an improved water source. Now this will overwrite whatever is in our DHIS2 instance here. Let's check another month just for fun. In January, wow, we had a lot of textbooks. I think that was a typo, so I'm going to fix this and save it. So you'll see for data capture it's pretty straightforward. You don't really have many options here. You can just look at your user profile. So this is helpful if you're having conflicts, you're not sure why, or we can log out. So I hope this was helpful. Um, you can check out some of our other Office Mix or YouTube videos on the different DHIS2 apps and we also started with the how to install Jenny Motion app. If you have any questions, you can connect with us by email info at logicaloutcomes.net or get in touch with the DHIS2 user group on Launchpad. Just look it up in Google, join the email list, and you'll be up to date and have the ability to post your questions to the expert community at any time. Hope this was helpful and happy testing. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 